What's up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to the channel if you are new and in today's video we're going to be talking about five AliExpress alternatives that you guys can use if you're trying to move out of AliExpress, if you're trying to do something different, if you're trying to, you know, fix your shipping times, fix prices, fix a bunch of problems that AliExpress can bring up. You aren't, you know, capable of dealing with that or you don't want to deal with that. Well, I'm going to show you guys some alternatives, alright? The, the main pain point, right, of AliExpress uh, for us dropshippers, right, for you guys is usually shipping times, right? That's usually the biggest problem working with AliExpress and the suppliers and the wholesalers and all that, all, all those people there, right? And basically, if, if you want faster shipping times in AliExpress, you're forced to pay, you know, 30 to $40 extra just to get that expedited shipping, right? Which sucks because that kills your margins, right? It, it kills your profit, okay? So, what can you do to actually, you know, fix that or like what are the alternatives? Basically, I'm gonna screen share with you guys five different websites, kind of just walk through them like really quickly, just briefly to show you guys, okay, these are five ones that you guys can use. Walk through the pros and cons of these sites versus, you know, AliExpress, and then hopefully, you know, give you guys at least you know, a little outlook and show you guys, hey, there are, you know, alternatives to this. Um, AliExpress is not, you know, the only way to go, it's the main way um, in the current state of the market of things, right? But Markets change and you know it's good to keep your options open, it's good to be aware of the alternatives, okay? So let's do that right now. Alright guys, I am now tiny on your video screen and you are seeing my website, or the, the, the Chrome browser, okay? So the first site that I want to actually show you guys, alright? This one's called banggood.com. Obviously with all these sites, right, AliExpress is basically an outlet for all these suppliers to, to put their, you know, their, their wholesale products on. That's what all these sites are, okay? They're outlets, they're not like specific suppliers, okay? And as you can see, a lot of these sites are gonna mimic what AliExpress actually looks like, okay? So this first one is called banggood.com and essentially, I mean, really guys, it, it's just another AliExpress, it's another alternative that you guys can look into using. But I wanna like walk you guys through um, just, you know, some prices. I, I, I tinkered with each of these sites a little bit, but for example, right? I went to jewelry and watches, and then I believe I just went to quartz watches, all right? For example, right? Because I, I dropship in the fashion industry primarily, and watches were a very big thing that sold for me, so I'm gonna look here, okay, for example, and pretend I'm not going on AliExpress, right? Find one, if you guys are familiar with, uh, with AliExpress, you'll know that um, this company, Yazol, however you pronounce it, is also on AliExpress. But, look at this, okay? So, obviously this mimics AliExpress very, very, very much. Uh, you're seeing the price here, $7.29. You have the variance that you're able to select, and then you can add it to cart, all right? Now, in my cart, I already have it added here, so I'm actually gonna go view cart and just walk you guys through the shipping, right? Just to show you guys, okay? So first of all, you have it here. And then another thing, like with these sites as well, is that you can actually check out with multiple options, right? There's PayPal, PayPal Express, your debit cards, all that kind of stuff, compared to your AliExpress, kind of, where it kind of limits you because they own their own sort of PayPal, like called Alipay, stuff like that. So, so they make it harder for, you know, people in the US to just conveniently kind of order their stuff, right? So you can't check out with PayPal, but you're gonna go proceed to check out and you're gonna select your shipping. I want to go through this. So first of all, you know, usually with, with regular standard shipping times, um, especially outside of the US, when you're shipping products outside of the US, uh, shipping times can be very, very long, like sometimes longer than a month, okay? But now with this, okay, so look, this is priority direct mail, nine to 15 days, it's an extra $2, okay? So that's slightly better than typical e-packet shipping, right, that you'll see on AliExpress for, for um, orders that are going, you know, in, into more of the popular countries. Um, but again, this is cheaper than most e-packets and it's quicker than most e-packets, right? And if you really, really want, guys, it's not ridiculous to actually expedite it. So basically, if you have expedited shipping here, five to eight business days, it's an extra 15 bucks compared to, you know, AliExpress, they'll charge you DHL shipping, which gets you, you know, three to six days or something around there, but they charge you, you know, 30 to 40 bucks, right? And that's, that, that's really, really ridiculous. Um, Fifteen dollars for expedited shipping is not too too you know out of the ordinary, right? So that's one side, guys. Literally, this is possible. Again, you can pay with PayPal, credit card, debit card, all that stuff. And I do want to point out, guys, I am not affiliated with any of these sites at all. Okay, I literally just did some digging, found a bunch of these websites that also work, and I'm just trying to show you guys that hey, these are some alternatives you guys can look into. Right? I'm not affiliated with any of these. I don't know any of the people that run these sites. Okay. Now the next one. This one's called Deal Machine. Again, this is another quick thing. It walks you through, you know, all the specs. You got the, the product pictures if you are going to use those. Um, and then again, you can just check out, right? So basically, say we have added to cart, all right? I'm gonna go back to my cart because again, I played with this website. Then you can go proceed to check out. Again, you can pay with PayPal and other stuff. So there's other forms of payment, all right? And basically, after this, you have to activate your email, all that kind of stuff. But in terms of shipping, okay, let me go back. Uh, basically, you have different shipping methods here, okay? 
Um, obviously this site, it's a little bit pricier than uh, Banggood, um, but it is an alternative to you know AliExpress um, with different shipping. You have standard, expedited, um, and their um, actual cost based on weight. But for this one, it's two dollars and twenty-two cents for the standard, um, and then for the actual um, or sorry for flat rate shipping and for standard shipping. Uh, pardon guys, it is lit. It's six in the morning right now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's six in the morning. I have not slept yet. Um, I've just been sourcing the stuff for you guys. Okay. Um, now the third one. Basically guys, this, so the next video I'm gonna show you, I'm 99% certain that it's all the same company, but with kind of spinoffs of different um, different angles, I guess, or their, their different takes on kind of what they're doing. So this one's, I'm gonna walk through all three really quick. So one of these sites is called Drop in the Box, okay? It's more tailored towards drop shipping, but I wanna point out after looking at all three of these, it looks like they may mark up the shipping rates slightly, just a few extra bucks. Um, for the dropshipping sites, okay. This next one is called Mini in the Box, all right. Uh, like, like, see, you're catching like why I think they're um, all similar, it's the same layout, and all that stuff for most of these sites, okay. And then the third one is called Light in the Box, all right. I'm gonna walk you through the like differences between these three really quick. So, Drop in the Box again, it's kind of tailored specifically to dropshipping, okay. Uh, Light in the Box is a little bit more tailored to wholesaling, okay, but it's also uh, kind of weird in the sense that when you select a product, right, um, you have to so wait 10 seconds for it to like confirm your deal because I'm they're doing some sort of marketing I guess for their site where it makes you think that you're getting a really good deal, right? Um, but then it does that and then again, it has better shipping rates than drop in the box, okay? But then this one called mini in the box again, it's all basically the same kind of sites They do have different products um, and then different rates I suggest you guys kind of experiment because you know different products can be different on any of these three sites But again guys, those are three other sites that are all you know very very similar um, offer better shipping rates than AliExpress and can get you know to your customers faster right because when you're drop shipping the biggest pain point for us is hey how do I get product to my customer faster how do I make it more efficient how do I you know improve customer satisfaction so I get more repeat purchases all that kind of stuff right so this is kind of what you want to look for and I do want to compare something with you guys so basically if you guys if you guys saw that but in my cart it said fifteen dollars um, as it wasn't on sale, but when I refreshed and went back to the actual product page, it went back on sale, right? So I'm telling you guys, it's a marketing ploy for them to kind of um, make you purchase quicker, okay? Where they say, hey, you know, you only have, you know, 20 minutes before the price goes up, okay? It, it's, it's, what, it's what you guys do on your dropshipping stores, right? You, you use incentive to actually make them uh, purchase quicker, and this is what this site is doing, okay? But basically, you click buy now, and it wants to you know verify that hey you know the the deal is available for you okay it's I don't think it's actually doing much but then it takes you and it says okay you don't use added to your cart and now we'll proceed to check out all right let me uh, turn this into one okay and then here it goes the updated price right as you see the discounts now applied again you can check out with PayPal or anything like that we proceed to check out all right um, you know, for all the information for um, the shipping and billing and whatnot. But then again, guys, drop in the box, light in the box, all these ones. I I like their shipping variants more than these other sites. The uh, Bang Goods, though, I think has the cheapest rates, but this one has, I guess, the most flexible rates. Okay. So basically, if you just want regular expedited shipping, right? This is e packet. It's seven to twelve days. Okay. That's better than most e packets on AliExpress or all e packets on AliExpress. That's better than Bang Good even. Okay. And you're only paying a dollar eighty-five for that. All right? Does that does that make sense? Like this is dirt cheap shipping that gets to your clients relatively fast. Okay? And now if your client wants to purchase, you know, really fast shipping, two to four business days and it's thirteen dollars. Okay? That's not bad compared to DHL forty dollars, which gets you in the same time frame on AliExpress from you know all your suppliers, right? So that's that's just what I want to show you guys. And again, with all these sites too. Their processing times are 24 hours, okay? With, with drop in the box, light in the box, and mini in the box, okay? The processing times are less than 24 hours. What, what, what does that mean, okay? So basically on AliExpress, when you actually get a product uh, ordered and you have to purchase it from your supplier, your supplier has a period of time where they receive your order, get it ready to ship, and then actually ship it out, right? Because the shipping time only counts once, they, once it's actually entered the, the carrier, right? The, the postal service, okay? The processing time is how long it takes your manufacturer, the supplier, whoever it is, to actually get your product to to the to the postal service okay and for for aliexpress that can be days okay some suppliers say seven days on average okay most of them are anywhere from one to three days okay which is good but these sites are 24 hours okay which means your processing time is 24 hours your shipping time 
is really quick. So again, you can get your product to your customer faster, increase customer satisfaction, increase customer return rate, make them want to buy more. You're able to offer more incentives to repeat customers instead of you know having them buy once and then not want to buy again because it takes too long, stuff like that, okay? Um, again, I want to keep my, again, though, this is just a comparison as well, just on AliExpress for, 40, for 485 for a similar glass. And if we go to shipping and payment, you guys can kind of see how the um, the shipping is is basically structured. So basically, look for six to thirteen days shipping, DHL fifty seven dollars. See, I said thirty to forty, and this product is a lot more. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like you can beat the shipping times. You can get your product to customers faster um, using these goods. Now the pros and cons. Though, okay, this, this is what I want to touch on before um, before you guys you know kind of run off to these sites and stuff. Um, pros: faster shipping times, right? And competitive pricing, right? So the pricing isn't like a lot more expensive than AliExpress per se, okay? The main con though that I want to point out is that the product range isn't as big, okay? You're not gonna find as many products on these sites, okay? And that's just a simple fact of the matter is like AliExpress is the biggest retailer in, in the world in terms of like value, technically, even bigger than Amazon, all right? So that being said, these other sites are, you know, kind of competing with that, they have less supply, okay? So they don't have as much of a product range that you can kind of pick from and whatnot, but and then again, that's just a con to play with. That's why I said, you know, suggest you know, check out the sites at least and then see if you can find your product on there, okay? Um, keep in mind that all these sites here, these are outlets, okay? So these are, these are websites where suppliers, companies can go to sell their products on, um, to list them to, to, you know, for us to purchase, okay? There's a difference between, for example, this is my basically dropshipping directory. So this is my personal, um, Essentially, right, these are actual companies, okay, that are all based, 99% uh, of them are based in the United States that particularly dropship a specific product, right? So instead of going to an outlet like AliExpress or something like that, you're actually, like for, for, for my list here, you're actually going to the company itself. So you're basically going to the supplier itself and saying, hey, I want to dropship your specific products, right? And this is just a huge directive that I have. I think it's over like 200 um, companies and whatnot, but this is a whole different video that I just want to touch on you guys so you guys are aware that, hey, these are the outlet companies that you work on, AliExpress, those, those, those websites, those are outlets for these suppliers, okay? And then you can go straight to the directory here and actually work with um, the, the, the suppliers like one-on-one. -on -one. Um, again, it saves you time, cut costs, and these products ship directly out of the United States, okay? So that's another video that I want to touch on. Um, um, I'll, I'll touch on a little bit, but basically guys, that's, that's the video I want to show you guys, you know, a few alternatives to AliExpress you guys can check out. Again, guys, um, for, for those of you that, you know, don't know how to, how to make a profit with, you know, with price shipping and whatnot, too, I just want to add this um, kind of value for you guys. But basically, right, say you're selling a $7 watch, right? And you're shipping, um, for some reason, is, you know, like $8, $9, right? Just to get the product to the customer as cheap as possible, okay? And basically, guys, to, to make better profit, right, on your products, there, there's two sides to it, right? There's the front end and the back end, right? The front end is what the customer sees. What are they being charged for to purchase the product to get it to their door, okay? The back end is what are you being charged to get that product to the customer, okay? Those are two reasons that, that, that those are two things you can change and fix and, and edit, basically, to improve your customer shipping rates, right? So front end, you can increase your price of the product, right? That's the quickest way, the easiest way to actually increase your margins, right? Does that hurt your conversion rate? Does it blah, blah, blah? There's a bunch of factors that play into that, okay? And then on the back end, all right, the back end is where, hey, you either, you know, you're fixing your shipping times, you're looking at new suppliers, you're looking at new outlets, new directories, all that kind of good stuff. But again, it's all about perception, guys. You can sell a watch for $40, you can sell a watch for $12, you can sell a bracelet for $10, you can sell a bracelet for $30, okay? It's all about perspective, okay? It's all about how the customer perceives, you know, the, the actual value of the product. And that's where marketing comes into play. That's where I preach, you know, content um, and all that kind of good stuff. But basically, guys, that is the video. I really suggest you guys check out the Ecom Hub. There's a bunch of free mini courses down below. I'm actually gonna drop a new mini course on the actual uh, dropshipping directories. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, you know, comment below, let me know so I can actually, you know, create that for you guys. Basically, guys, that actual directory is going to be available to everyone in the mastery course. That's also at the e e that's also at the ecom hub, guys. So feel free to check that stuff out. Link is in the description. <laughs> Always plug, you know I gotta do it. So leave a like, comment, respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are doing a video a day. It's every day, bro, with that e channel. And we are going hard. I know I talk a lot about drop sharing, but I know a lot of you guys are interested in affiliate marketing, lifestyle, uh, cars, just you know what 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 else I do, SaaS, software, social media marketing, all that kind of good stuff, right? So we're doing a video a day, guys. And uh, I hope you guys, I hope you, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I will see you guys in the next video. I'm not wearing pants. Perspective, right? So.
See you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related, from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.